Welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to use the C and the D scale of the slide rule to solve some proportions. The main principle is that if you set the slide, uh, you set a constant ratio between the C and the D scale. So see here I've set it uh, 3 against 6, but then it also reads 4 against 8, 5 against 10, 2 against 4, 1.5 against 3, and of course 1 to 2 or 1 half. Okay? So when you set the slide, you set that ratio, and then anywhere you read the cursor, it reads the same ratio. So let's say I take a car trip and I travel 8.5 miles, and my car uses 4.2 gallons. We'll assume the amount of gas my car uses is proportional uh, to the distance traveled. Okay, so I'm going to set on the D scale uh, the number of miles traveled. So 8.5. Then I'm going to align that with the number of gallons used, the 4.2. Of course, we're getting about order of magnitude. Okay, let's make sure the alignment is good. Okay, now anywhere I move the cursor should read that same ratio. So if I read at the 1, then I read about uh, 20.1 miles. That's really 20.2 since each mark there is uh, 2. Um, so about 20.2 miles on 1 gallon. So I've computed the number of miles per gallon my car has used. And notice that that was actually the same procedure we used in the previous video for division, right? I found 8.5 on D, aligned it with the second number on C, came out to the index, and then read the result on D. Let's check how accurate that is using the calculator. So what I found there is 85 divided by 4.2, uh, 20.23, and so on. Not too bad. Now, to solve the rest of these proportions, I don't move the slide because I want each of these proportions to represent the same ratio. Okay, but if instead I want to see how far I can go on 3 gallons, then I simply find the 3 on the C scale. And I see... Okay, it looks like about 60, this is 61, um, so not quite 61, but maybe 60.7. That last digit is often a guess on your slide roll, um, so these are all approximations. Okay, now the question instead is, well, what if I want to know how many gallons to use to go, uh, I need, or I need to go 250 miles? Well, I can find that 250 on the D scale by finding the 2.5 here, and then reading the number of gallons of gas I need on the C scale. Uh, so let's see, that's 1, 1.1, 1.2, looks like about 1.23 and a half. Okay, and then the correct decimal placement there um, is about 12.35 gallons. Near one, you have very high resolution, so you might even sometimes get a fourth digit or a guess for a fourth digit. Um, but again, that's really a guess. Okay. Um, now, what if instead I want to go 150 miles? Well, I should find the 1.5 on the D scale. But now I have a classic slide rule problem that the result I want is not uh, underneath the cursor on the scale that I want. Uh, this is called going off scale. Now, the way to solve this is to imagine that, well, the C scale, if it was continued um, in this direction, actually continues with these numbers. Uh, you can imagine this 10 is just a 1 if you forget order of magnitudes. Uh, and so then that 10 is really the same as this, and these numbers continuing here would be uh, these ones here, the 9, 8, 7. So what I can do is I can take that 1 there, hold that position with the cursor, and slide the other index under it. This is called swapping the index. Okay. Once I've swapped the index, then I can find that 1.5 on the D scale and read the correct result. Looks like about 7.4. I'm not going to assume I know the next decimal place, uh, especially because I've made two slides, essentially. Uh, but 7.4 gallons, and once you do the index swap, you can read all the numbers which were off scale, but of course the ones which were on scale before are now off scale. Okay. 
Let's solve a second proportion problem. This is involving right triangles. Let's say I have a man who is five and a half feet tall and he's casting a 4.4 foot shadow. He measures the shadow of a, of a tree uh, to be 36 feet. What is the height of the tree? Okay, this is of course a proportion problem because the triangles um, that you have here would be similar triangles. Okay, this one that the tree is casting essentially like this um, it's just a larger triangle. Okay, well, what should I do here? Let's assume we want the result on the D scale. So I'm going to put the height here on the D scale of both things and the, the shadow length on the C scale of both things. Okay, so let's find um, the 5.5 on the D scale and align that with the 4.4 on the C scale, then I'll come out on the C scale to the 3.6, about there, and I read result 4, 5. Of course I need to put the correct order of magnitude, and the correct order of magnitude is not 4.5 but 45 feet. Okay, so this has been a quick explanation of how to solve proportions on the slide roll uh, with some practical examples. Have fun.